Excuse me, sir, do you recycle? Yeah, I, I do my best to recycle. I, use, I always recycle cans and bottles and uh, usually recycle my newspapers. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. How many people do you think usually use the reusable ba bags instead of plastic bags? At Acme. At Acme. There's a good amount. Probably like, uh, probably like 30 to 40 percent, I'd say, use, use the reusable bags. Oh wow, that's a large percent. Did you know that about 80% of what Americans throw away is recyclable, yet our rate, recycling rate is just 28%? I didn't know that. <laughs> well, good That's to know. That's astonishing. <laughs>Recycling just one aluminum can saves enough energy to operate a TV for three hours. That's like sitting by myself and watching TV for three hours and not having to worry about paying my electric bill. I should start recycling, but I probably won't. Recycling one ton of paper saves 17 trees, two barrels of oil, 4,100 kilowatts of energy. 3.2 cubic yards of landfill space and 60 pounds of air pollution. Americans throw away enough aluminum to rebuild our entire commercial fleet of airplanes every three months. About 80% of what Americans throw away is recyclable. Yet, our recycling rate is just 28%. Recycling creates six times as many jobs as landfilling. Recycling glass instead of making it from silica Sand reduces mining waste by 70%, water use by 50%, and air pollution by 20%. Recycling just one aluminum can can save enough energy to operate a TV for three hours.- households with two sedans will emit over 20,000 pounds of carbon dioxide into our air every year. Sport utility vehicles emit as much as 40% more than medium-sized cars. This pollution can stay in our atmosphere for up to a century. Our future may be at risk for global warming due to our economy's trends in households having more than one vehicle as well as cars with poor gas mileage. Car exhaust emits many types of pollutants including hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide. The extra heat in our atmosphere from car pollution can cause our weather patterns to become unpredictable. These actions may lead to more natural disaster catastrophes. Solar energy is better for the environment than traditional forms of energy. In one hour, more sunlight falls on the earth than what is used by the entire population in one year. The worldwide demand for solar energy is currently greater than supply. Stockton is known as New Jersey's Green College. It has many campus projects such as the F-Wing expansion, the overflow of the parking lot, and the Campus Center. The Campus Center uses 25% less energy than standard construction. 40% less water and low emitting adhesives, sea limbs, paints, and coatings. So how often do you go to the beach? 24 7, brah. Do you throw away your trash and recycle? When you're on the beach? You mean like dig a hole? 
and then put the trash in there. Do you at least cover the hole back up? Nah, bruh. Seagulls. Did you know that New Jersey is home to three of the top 12 most polluted beaches in the United States? Only three? Bruh. Should be 12! Ah. In 1984, New Jersey was known as the ocean dumping capital of the nation. New Jersey is home to three of the top 12 most polluted beaches in the United States, including Point Pleasant, Belmar, and Cape May. Over 80% of all marine pollution comes from land-based activities and many pollutants are deposited into estuaries and coastal waters. Containers of plastic and metal are the most frequently reported litter. There is more pollution on the beach in the winter, probably because of the prevailing winds and large waves which force the litter ashore. Beach pollution originates from many diverse sources, such as runoff from urban, suburban, or agricultural areas, street litter, automotive drippings, and animal wastes. The collective impact of these sources close more beaches, taint more shellfish beds, and pollute inshore waters more than any single pollution source. Saves enough energy to operate a TV for three hours. I know. Where'd you get that? A Snapple cap? We're ready for that, were you? <laughs> no. Hopefully you can edit this a little bit. <laughs> so how often do you go to the beach? <laughs> how often do you go to the beach? Every day. Year round? 24-7, 375. Do you recycle and throw away your trash whenever you're on the beach? Recycle? No, I only surf, I don't bicycle. It's a project. Can you zoom in It's recording. Oh, okay. my God. Do you recycle? On occasion, most of the time I don't. The other weekend I had my brothers Jimmy and John over and uh, we were drinking a few beers, a few more than a few, like a lot. And uh, most of the time we just threw it right in with our chicken bones, whatever we were eating that night, threw it right in the trash. I mean, it's really no big deal to me, just it all goes to the same place. Do you recycle? Come on, you gotta say better than that, it's so awkward for me. Excuse me, man. Do you recycle? I try to, yeah. <laughs> this is nervous. This is horrible. Yes, it's gone. So, how often do you go to the beach? 24 7, 14 63. Do you? Did you know that New Jersey is home to three of the 12 most polluted beaches in the United States? It's because Jersey is better than everybody else at everything. And no, I did not know that. It's sad. <laughs> yeah, it is sad. That we can't be all 12.